in first fishing or opportunity fishermen, sometimes we target particular fish. We like to explore too. We like to go around and see what's this and what's that over here. All right, we're here in St. Petersburg, Florida, and we are here early morning. We got uh, just a tiny little sliver of a crescent moon. We're gonna have an incoming tide all morning, and we're gonna make our way out the pass. And on the way, we're gonna hit some of these lights that you see around me right here, these dock lights. There's a few fish striking underneath them, but uh, just gonna do that as we kind of go along. Uh, the sun's not quite up yet, and once the sun is up, we'll be outside the pass, and we're gonna throw the net for some more bait. We got, um, we got big live shrimp, we got a blue crab, and we're gonna try to catch some pinfish, uh, maybe some uh, greenbacks, and we're gonna go for tarpon. That's the first thing we're gonna try for. I saw them rolling the other day, so hopefully they're still in the same spot and they're hungry, and uh, maybe we'll be the first people there, we'll see. It's Monday, so that's good. So there'll be less people on the water. Let's go get them. Florida snook. He's not real big, but he hit the top of the water, and that's all I care. <laughs> Just run that lure right to the light. Uh, normally, the last thing I want to do is crank up the motor right here next to the light, but we're just kind of taking a quick shot of this light right here as we get out of the pass. right now it's just about max low tide so um, I'm gonna run the edge of the flat obviously because you won't be able to get on it and we're gonna look for bait I got a little bit of chum I'm kind of backing us out of the slip here between all these pylons we'll catch some greenbacks some white bait and move on to the tarpon spot. Hopefully the tarpon are still there and hungry. Another sunrise blesses the Gulf Coast. I've been seeing the sunrise. I don't know, probably for the last 20 years. I've been getting up early and I've been chasing these fish that swim out here in the Gulf of Mexico such a long time, but I never get tired of coming out here and seeing the sunrise. You know, I feel kind of bad for people that don't get to experience just the simple things in life, such as the sunrise. You know, these people that sleep until noon and stay up till midnight. Um, sometimes I'm forced to do that, but you got to get up early and just look to the horizon and watch the sun reach you, because inevitably we're all linked to the sun. The sun gives us our energy. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for little flashes in the water. I'm looking for uh, the bait fish to come up and flip their tails on top of the water. 
as they sometimes do. There's some nice traction right there. Um, try to get super shallow water here. Nice little shark right there. Probably can't see him now. There's a little bonnet head. Terrible throw. It actually started to open up kind of good, but then it Put these guys in the live well back there with the crab. All right, what we're doing now is we're getting set up for tarpon. Like I said, we saw some tarpon rolling Saturday. Couldn't get a bite. It's now Monday, so hopefully they're in the same place. We got more options with bait. So we're gonna get rigged up for these dudes. We're gonna put some live baits under some floats. And we're probably gonna put a bait out on the bottom as well. Crabs are warriors, man. Now he's in the water. Now we're gonna put a pinfish in the water. Big shrimp here. Just putting some chum in the bait bucket. Maybe that can turn the fish on a little bit more for us. This is all a learning process for me too. We've got tarpon in the summer months back home in Alabama on the coast. They just kind of come through on their migration, but there's tarpon here in Tampa Bay year round. And there's a lot of good tarpon fishermen here. And I'm trying to become one. I've never caught one, I've seen them. Uh, but I'm trying to take my bait, but I've never caught one. So let's see if we can fix that. I'm trying the best as I can. So we're gonna fish here for just a few more minutes. If we don't get anything, then we're gonna move on and hit some mangrove flats and some docks and stuff like that. Um, see if we can pick up a redfish or another snook or something like that. But well, we just tried for tarpon. There's a lot of tarpon here. They're, they're all over this marina here, but they just couldn't get a bite. Um, you know, got to have more tarpon education, I guess. I'm a beginner tarpon fisherman, but it's good to know they're here. It's cool to see them. You know, it's not something uh, a lot of people get to see. All these big, beautiful fish. Some of them are five, six feet long, uh, rolling on the surface, taking gulps of air. Uh, would love to see one take my bait, but uh, no takers today. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on out of here. And right now <coughs> it is 9.35. We're going to go over to some mangroves and some docks and stuff like that. And we're going to see if we can catch some snook and maybe some redfish or some little gray snapper or mangrove snapper, some people call them, and put a few fish in the box. Here we go. So far, I have I came out here the other day with a friend and it was on the weekend. There was like 500 boats out here. Fish. 
short. <laughs> I was just about to start throwing my other rod and I looked back and I saw this uh, rod with the shrimp on it get hit. So I picked it up and started winding on it and next thing you know there's a whole bonnethead shark on there. But uh, I didn't want to fool with him so he's now uh, got a lip piercing. But he'll be okay, that hook will fall out after a little while. He'll be good to go. I always use a circle hook with live bait. It goes right in the corner of the mouth, doesn't go in the throat or anything like that. So it's much friendlier to the fish. But uh, he'll be a-okay. Now we're gonna see. I see plenty of mullet. I don't see any snook or anything, but I know they're here. All right, we're done. Uh Fishing this area. We're taking the fish mobile out of Whedon Island. We're going to go back around and fish one more spot before we got to call it a day. Seen a lot of fish. Caught a couple. There's tons of mullet. If I was a mullet fisherman, I'd be in heaven, but I'm not a mullet fisherman. We moved down here a little bit further south of the of main downtown St. Pete. This is residential area. There's a bunch of boat docks. A little bit of mangrove action, not a whole lot. We're gonna go over to this dock over here that should hold some fish. Let's see if anybody's home. Maybe there'll be some nice mangrove snapper on it. Maybe if we're lucky, a snooker or redfish. I'm gonna pitch a nice big live shrimp in there and see what happens. I got a big long fluorocarbon leader, so I'm using really heavy line. I'm using a 65 pound line on a pretty sturdy setup just in case. Mr. Big on the air. With it. There's a little snapper, I think. Yeah. Yeah, a little black snapper. Mangrove snapper. You can see why they call them snapper. <laughs> Do not get your finger anywhere near that. Yeah. Got a little uh, ladyfish. <laughs> little ladyfish. It's about the size of catch you want to catch a giant snook. That's what people tell me. Ever present, ever persistent lady fish. These are some serious shrimp. These are like 75 cents a piece. These things. It's all you. Got nothing to do here, buddy. Catfish. <laughs> oh, that's a catfish. Yeah. Burp, 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 burp. Slime my line all up. Gaff top sail cat. Where are the pliers? All right, we've moved across the uh, inlet here and we're just drifting down. We got a live shrimp and we're just drifting down these docks. Maybe another black snapper. Maybe a snook. Caught them here before, cut them both here. There we go. Gray snapper, or whatever you want to call it. That's a decent one there, man. That's a nice one right off someone's dock. Come here. 
right there. That's a good one, man. It'll probably be about 11 or 12 inches. I'll take that all day long. Pinfish fight over the pieces. Maybe I got a little jackraball, I think. <laughs> a little baby jackraball. There's all kinds of fish on this dock. Just a little baby. Circle hook. Probably just barely he is. <laughs> well, we got a little bit of everything today. We got snook, we've got catfish, we saw some tarpon, we caught some mangrove snapper, uh, played around with some ladyfish. So all in all, it was a great day. I mean, it beats the hell out of working in an office or something like that. Uh, I'm never going to go into one of those again, and uh, I don't really have any other way I'd rather spend any day of the week other than out here in my boat catching fish. Next time, we might go offshore, we might try to catch some grouper, maybe some snappers, some big rango snappers, great big ones. Uh, kingfish are coming down right now, so they'll be showing up soon. You never know what's going to happen, so just stay tuned and we'll keep catching fish and putting them on video.